Is that back on again? Yeah, fucking phone. B, fucking B on my phone. I feel the fire in your eyes. Who does that song? It, 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 you can tell it's the same artist that did that other song to keep playing on the fucking radio. I don't know what you call this kind of music. Some of it's nice. That Lippa, what's the name? Lippa, Do Lippa, Da, Da, Do Lippa, Do Lappa, Da. That ugly chick with the tattoos, what's the name? Do, Do, Do Lippa, right? The song, uh, uh, Levitate. It's a cute song. You better like it, they're playing the fucking shit out of it. Oh fuck, what's that, Mike with the lawnmower? Go see us do a maintenance on it. You hear it? Go see us a fucking do a maintenance on it. This ain't the first fucking lawnmower he broke of the landlords. <laughs> See, this I think this is the riding lawnmower, so that's serious. She ain't gonna buy him a brand new fucking riding lawnmower. He fucking runs over sticks, rocks, logs. I ain't fucking pushing it. You know push? The fucking hard operation two years ago. It's parked over there, you can finish. No, it doesn't sound like it's running. It's on? It's run? You can go over there if you want to finish. Yeah, but it sounds like it's there's a problem with it. No, right? Oh. Is that the riding one or the push em one? Right. Oh. oh, yeah, the push mower sounds kind of funny. Where is it? Down there. Oh. They kept the governor in there. The governor's like stuck. That, that's what that was just doing. No. Where were you? I was over here. Oh, there. yeah? Shut the blade <laughs> off. It won't shut off. Maybe you got a little grit. So they turn the tractor off and the thing will pop off. Oh. Yeah. Rev the shit out of it. Get the, <laughs> get the dirt out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Rev the shit out of it. <laughs> Upstate, baby. It's another world up here. That's the guy who used to work with Bruce. He's a retired NYPD. Oh, he's one of the originals, man. When, back in the day, he used to work uh, uh, pretty nights. I think he did three nights. He alternated with Pam. She did two. She used to fucking bitch all the time. We switched on our, our arm to fucking work there. He did three. He was getting his fucking pension. Uh, he wasn't, you know, old enough to retire yet, but I think he was. He was getting his pension and he was, you know, three, three nights a week. You know, night shift, 3 to 11.30. It wasn't as good the money they're making now, but... I guess his wife is working, I don't know. He lives up in Richfield and uh, uh, what the hell am I saying anyway? Oh, he used to say that about upstate here because he's from the city, you know. Uh, not the city, he worked in the city.
don't think he lived in the city. Long Island, whatever, that's irrelevant. But he used to make fun of them up here. He used to, like, he used to get the newspapers down, uh, down there, that, you know, the New York Times and shit. Hey, fucking newspaper up here, there's nothing to it. There's no crime. You know? Because he was a cop, he's looking for crime in the paper. There's no fucking crime up here. Yeah, stealing a fucking pig or uh, somebody stole a fucking apple pie just out of the oven. I just heard right over there, I heard the lawnmower going up and down, shut up, shut up. He said, no, it's the one down there. Come on, man. I'm fucking, I'm sitting right here. Yeah, so anyway, Bruce used to, oh, it's another world up here. They, they have no side, sidewalks, you know. There he goes. There he fucking goes. Carrying the fucking equipment to go do a job. Because he don't drive. We're switching on. We're switching on over his fucking... Jesus Christ, I, I swear, I heard the fucking thing right over there. He goes down to the back of the barn, he doesn't... Anyway, what was I talking about? Bruce, right? Yeah, he used to, uh... Another world up here. There's no street lights. How come you got no street lights? There's more coming. Right? You know, because down, down there in the city in Long Island, we had everything, you know? I went at it with him. Believe me when I tell you. Yeah, we fucking went at it. One on one. On the job. Not a fist fight, but verbally. Because this is back with the flu shot. You gotta get the flu shot. He wouldn't get it. I'm allergic to fucking flu shots. I can't eat oranges. All this fucking bullshit. Uh. Okay, you gotta wear the mask. He was fucking told. Even in the break room, even when you're by yourself, you have to wear the fucking mask. Unless you're eating or drinking something. Yeah, okay. Signs the paper. He used to come in early in the morning. <coughs> he didn't know exactly what time. When I used to uh, do weekends too. Fucking walking early all the time. So you couldn't gauge when I came in. I walk in and I fucking catch him. He's sleeping. No mask. Mask on the fucking desk. I come in and I kick the fucking table. He wakes up. Oh, he sees me, puts it on. Well, anyway, one time... <coughs> Verbally, we went at it. Would you mind your own fucking business? And I says, look. I said, I had to get the flu shot. I had to get that stuff injected into me. Because I didn't want to wear the fucking mask. I had to fucking do it. I said, and if I didn't do it, I would wear the fucking mask. I said, put the fucking mask on. Erin used to work with me. She was bitching too. You should wear the mask. I said, you're goddamn right. She had to get the flu shot too. I said, let's stick fucking together. You know. I'm going to go fucking tell the boss. You know, two's better than one. In, num in unity and in strength. Let's go tell the boss. We caught him. Motherfucker ain't wearing the mask. So I think we did that. She called him in. Had a meeting with him. He comes in the fucking room. And he's going after her. He's going, I'm ready. He's going after her. Erin, I thought we were friends. Why'd you mind your own fucking business? And here we go. He, then she's, then she's, this is Erin. If you knew Erin, Erin, what the fuck? I thought we were friends. You turned on me. She says, well, Frank told me to, then. So, okay, Erin, thanks. Boop, 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 boop. And I, I had no problem fighting with him any given fucking time. Right is right and wrong is wrong. Remember that. He was deathly a fucking afraid of me. I came in the fucking room in the morning, no matter what time it was. 
if he's reading the paper, sleeping, eating, shitting, whatever. He fucking got up and fucking walked out. I didn't talk to him for a long fucking time. And when he was, he got fired because uh, he, he brought the wrong patient down for an x-ray. How do you do that? He brought the wrong patient down. It was like right before you had to go home. The x-ray tech said, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. <coughs> said, don't leave. So oh, I'm going home. She says, this is the wrong patient. I am supposed to do an x-ray on this patient. This is the wrong patient. Bring this patient back, get the right patient. He says, get somebody else to do it, I'm going home. Well, she told me, I, I, I was, when I logged in, I brought the patient back. She told me she's gonna, RL6, they call it. You do a complaint on paper, and her, I believe she did it. Did he get in trouble? He was still fucking working there. Uh, what? Anyway, that just, you know. Anyway, but he got fired for some fucking reason. I can't remember what it was. It wasn't that. I don't think it was that. I I'd have to get back to you on that. But he got re he got fired for some fucking his ex his attendance was excellent. He got fired for some fucking reason. I can't remember what it was. Oh, I do. There was a girl who worked at night. Her name was uh. Her first name was Janet. I'm not making it up. Her real name was Janet. Who fucking troublemaker? Something went down. Jeez, I'm trying to piece this together from a long time ago. Something went down. Oh, he was told, go sit down with the, the bed management people down there. Answer the phone. Do whatever they need you to do. He says, that's not my fucking job. And he was right. No, when you're between jobs, you got to sit down there. He said, fuck you. I ain't doing it. <coughs> Here comes security. Ba, ba, ba. Well, he went after her. He went after her with his finger, cornered her into the fuck. He's kicking chairs. I, as I heard from people who were there. He's kicking furniture and chairs out of the way. He cornered her with his fucking finger. Blaming her. She's the one that had that done. What? I don't think it was true. Well, he's threatening her, so they fucking fired him. Hick, he comes into Rome, security. Turned in his fucking shit. Must be came in the next day. Turned his uniform stuff. <coughs> you know, half a fucking smile. Like, you know, he's fine with getting fired. You know, that phony smile. And he says to, uh, I think it was my supervisor. He was a coordinator, team leader coordinator at the time. He says, uh, the, the fucking boss we had, uh, Fuck what's her name? Mary? Pat. Pat. He says, uh, <coughs> you can take, yeah, we want this fucking job. And he said, security's saying, okay, come on, Bruce, okay, come on. They would, you know, they would be in good with them. Two security guards by the door, well, locker room. He says, uh, he says to Bill, he says, uh, oh, oh, uh, Willie Nelson, Willie Nelson said it best. He said, he said, take this job and shove it. And then he looks at me, and I'm looking right at him, like, come on, I'm waiting for him to fucking start with me. I got no problem at all. He just fucking looked at me, and then he fucking bolted out of there. Several years went by, I saw him a price chopper. Somebody said something, job related, I don't know, fuck, I turn around, it's him. Okay, all right, motherfucker, we're not in the job now. Let's see what you're going to say now. He talked to me like nothing ever happened. I let it go. <coughs> That's an interesting little story, right? Jeez, Janet. I'm going to assume she's still uh, working there. She left our department. She went downstairs. I'm assuming she's still working there. Some people transfer and they're happy, you know. 
Because our, our department is fucking rough. It's very fucking physical. Very fucking physical. Among other things, you know. But some people, they transfer to the fucking job they like. They either stay, they transfer to something else, they fucking come back. I know of two fucking people with transports that uh, they came back at least twice. Well, they were there, they left, they fucking, can I come back? Yeah, we're hurting, we'll take anybody. keep hopping on this fucking Jeep thing. I want to get it fucking done. <coughs> Change my oil and filter for the fucking winter. I fucking change it and I got to put all these miles on it to fix the fucking check engine light. I don't want to do that. Because then come fucking January I'll have to change your oil again. Last, last time I changed it was... uh. Oh man, what was it? May? April, May? When I, st when I started doing it, somebody just pulled in. When I started doing it, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't that cool out. But when I was, you know, putting the six, six quarts of fucking oil, my fingers were fucking hurting. It was cold, it was fucking hurting. But yeah, there's a Subaru. I wonder if they fucking heard me. I see the fire in Scotty's eyes. Look at it fucked. I don't know who it is. Probably Scotty fucking unloaded a case of fucking spray paint and uh, a couple of cartons of smokes. <laughs> Let's see if we get fuzzy slippers. Nobody's getting out. I'm gonna stick the right of fucking drive in. It's hotty. It's it's too hotty. We got the fucking slippers on. We went to get a fucking haircut. Oh. <laughs> Usually there's some park facing out, so maybe he's not staying. You know, I keep fucking hopping on this, but in a way, in a way, I'm kind of happy for the guy because, like I said, he's been living here, we'll say around five years. He used to work in the cafe, you know, at the hospital. He was fucking miserable. <coughs> he moved here. He already quit that fucking job. He moved here. He was supposed to get his job uh the hotel down you know, a couple of blocks from here. Well, I had heard from somebody. I don't know if it was his ex-wife. I think it was somebody... Related to him. Yeah, you know, in a way. He didn't get the job because he couldn't pass the drug test. As far as I know, the guy didn't do drugs, so I don't know. But as long as he was here, he could never catch a fucking break. Always, you know, rubbing two nickels to make milk. Just keeping his head above fucking water. All the years I know him. And you know, what he, working. He worked, uh, you know, about 40 minutes away for about five fucking years. But he was always fucking struggling. You know, 
nice fucking guy. You talk to this guy, a nice fucking guy, you know. Yeah. I, you know, I always enjoy talking to the guy here, you know. He's nice to talk to, you know. He's not a bragger or anybody like that. Nice to talk to, you know. So in a way, I'm glad he finally gets a fucking little bit of a lead way, a little uh, rest period, a little, uh, you know, see how the other half lives, so to speak. Can't go on for fucking forever. I think he's going to stay late this rest of his fucking life. Right up to 65 years old and they're stuck in Social Security, right? That fucking Subaru, I mean, he's got a dent on the side, but I mean, I don't see it rusting. Look from here, the fucking muffler looks good. What are they, all wheel drive? He finally got his hands on a decent fucking one. Other than the fact that I had a a fucking 150,000 miles on it. That black rogue he had, I think it was the rogue. Looked beautiful, beautiful. Leather interior, black. Black on the outside, leather interior, I think it was like tan. Really nice shape, clean. 180,000 miles on it, he buys the fucking thing. <clears throat> A fucking five thousand dollars. What do you think you're gonna get? Come on. <coughs> Guy had about eight fucking cars since I know him. For five years, he had about eight fucking cars. You'd think he would know, you know? You think he'd be a fucking master at at, at knowing automobiles? No. Now when you had no fucking money or credit, you get what you could fucking get. They see him coming every fucking two months. He goes out in there for another vehicle. Oh, here comes, here comes Stu Hardy. Yeah, pull out that fucking Toyota, Tom. Pull out that Toyota. Stu Hardy's coming. He's got fucking 300,000 miles on it. Don't matter, he'll buy it. Yeah, sign on the dotted line. I oh, will finance you, Scotty. You're too hardy. Don't worry about it. Fucking sweet. It's only got six dents in it, and the fucking training's on its way out. Fucking sweet. Oh, look, there's a hatchback. I could put my fucking fuzzy slippers in the back. And my dickies. Hey, I fucking vultures. Are they vultures? I'm not an upstater. Vultures circling. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Jeez, I hope Scotty ain't don't. Hope he didn't wash his uh, fuzzy slippers and leave my side. Fucking vultures, they think it's a skunk. Because there's white on the slippers. I'm gonna come down and fucking scoop up his slippers. Take off with him. Boy, that'll fucking piss him off. Fucking custom made fuzzy slippers. Yeah, representative from the company. <coughs> they come to your house, set up an appointment, they come to your house and measure your fucking feet. Custom make the fucking fuzzy slippers for you. Scotty too hardy fuzzy slippers. Plays all fucking day and she goes to work. Oh, Jesus Christ. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Why does she stay with him? Why does she put up with it? You know what I mean? It's gotta be. <laughs> what else could it be? He's got a good job? That ain't it. the fuck could it be? I fucking sleep late in the morning.
Like I said, I wouldn't trade places for the fucking world. Not for the fucking world. First of all, I couldn't be in bed with that fucking beast he calls a girlfriend. Hideous. Second of all, without no fucking coverage or medical, it's so fucking important when you're older like us. Yeah. <coughs> uh, Doing the hands worth, what's that saying? One in the hand is worth two in the bush. <laughs> there you go. One in the hand is worth two in the bush. You know what I mean? If you're a guy watching this, you probably know what I mean. One in the hand is worth two in the bush. I shouldn't have said that, but again, it's my channel, right? We're having fun here. This is for my new subscriber. Whew. At the end of next month, I gotta go to my doctor. I waste of fucking time for my blood pressure and cholesterol and she'll take a fucking blood and urine and what the hell we really just should discuss taking cholesterol pills I'm not going to no special specialist I'm not going to cardiology I'm not fucking the only place I'm going from there is back fucking home when we stop and get pills I'll try them I got any fucking problem I'm not taking them It's simple. You want to be able to fucking urinate or don't. I take the pills. I can't fucking pee. No, thank you. I should be smoking another uh, Arthur Fuente Curly Heads. It's a good smoke. Maybe you went to the car wash. Can't tell. Oh, he gets the works. Simon eyes, fucking undercoating. Fucking underneath frame wash. Polish. Extra fucking protection. Gets, gets the fucking works. He ain't paying. Comes out of there and says, fucking sweet. She puts up with it. Ah, shit. I'm a broken record. I know, I'm a broken record. $600 a fucking week to do nothing. A chick in his fucking bed every night. He's getting laid. <coughs> You're looking at it, brother. This is my fucking life. Sitting here. Drinking coffee, smoking cigars, worried about the fucking Jeep. Got my fucking 30, 30 year old fucking barbecue here. Just day to day, baby, waiting to fucking die. I know it's, it sounds morbid, but how else am I gonna fucking put it? One day into another. I picked up, uh, when I went shopping today, I picked up, uh, they didn't have Unison. Fucking price shop, it doesn't have Unison. I got, uh, Top Care, whatever. Fucking store brand. Gels, sleep gels. Let me fucking try one tonight. <coughs> A waste of fucking time. 
I'm, I'm drinking the normal amount of coffee I always did. I don't know. I notice when I'm laying in bed, I'm fucking twitching. That fucking Brian Laundry stole in the fucking nose. The father's joining in the hunt. The dog chat man they're saying, well he can't comprehend he can't he can't apprehend the guy if he gets sees him. He's not licensed to do that. My understanding has always been, I'm pretty sure I read it somewhere, he is a licensed bounty hunter. Yeah, but then again, is there a bounty out on him? On the laundry kid? I don't know. Now, now the latest is his family might have been after their camping trip. He comes home from the fucking trip, Utah. Honey, where's Gabby? Where's your girlfriend? Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. Want to go on a camping trip this weekend? Yeah, let's go. Let's go, Mom. The latest news is the media thinks that the parents drove him to the fucking edge of the uh, uh, Appalachia Trail, dropped him off. Ah, oh, fuck me. The fucking kid's spotted everywhere, but yet nowhere. One guy, I think it was, uh, he did an interview, I think it's a <coughs> retired uh, U.S. Marshal or something. One guy, everybody you see on fucking about the case, one guy says what I said. He's probably dead somewhere. Probably killed himself. They just don't know where to look. You got master fucking criminals that can't get away. You got fucking Saddam Hussein, the president of a fucking Iraq, Iraq, got a fucking army behind him. Out in the fucking other side of the fucking world one and man and we got him <laughs> that other guy uh was a guy living in the fucking desert uh Osama bin Laden living in the fucking mountains uh Afghanistan all fucking country is mountains and fucking dirt and sand he's living in the fucking mountains moving around mountains to mountains nobody could find him Went over there and got him. Got him in fucking town. Sitting in the fucking house with his wives. Really? But this kid Brian, you know, 22 year old scared fucking boy, eludes the, the, the fucking world. It's the fucking Subaru. That's the uh, fucking Scotty Tuhati Mobile. Scotty Tuhati Mobile. That's me. All right. Uh, where's my watch on? I guess I'll go inside, play a little Candy Crush, and uh, I don't know. You want to make? I bought a box of hamburgers today. You want to have a fucking hamburger for supper? Nah. I ain't fucking bothered. All right.